Fucking Legion. As we all like always, we're kind of short on time here. We're going to get right into it. Uh, this is fucking it, dude. This is a featurette, so we're going to get like a chunk of the movie right here, I believe. So let's just get into it. Check it. I think it's just... Yeah, this is like a crank up the horror. Yeah, this isn't going to be uh, people talking, I don't believe. I don't believe it's that kind of... Was it, did it say featurette? Yeah, it's a featurette. Let's hope it's not the... Um, like somebody talking featurette. So yeah, let's just get into it. Check it out. See what it's all about. We know it's going to be good. Swear it. <clears throat> if it isn't dead. If it ever comes back. We'll come back too. It is. Fuck me. I was wrong. Sorry. When the first movie played and it says the end of chapter one, audiences applauded. They wanted more. So now they're going to get more. The second chapter starts 27 years later. The losers are summoned and they drop everything they're doing and they go back to Derry. It's about oh, these Stephen adults King, right? now confronting their deepest yeah, fears. Yeah, first. And it's not just Pennywise, but it's what he holds over them. The evil in Derry is lurking, so they have no choice but to finish what was started 27 years earlier. No one who dies here ever really dies. Tell me, how is it being back in Derry? Tonally, the movie will feel just like the first one, but we'll crank up the horror aspects of it. Nice. Andy's just going for broke as mm -hmm. far as scope and scares. There's something otherworldly and magical about rediscovering the child in us. There's this fight to remember I'm how so deep down those for this. bonds are. <laughs> it, Andy put the people first. And as a result, you have an old-fashioned movie experience where you root for the good guys. I'm rooting for it, Pennywise. It's more than just a horror film. It's really a coming-of-age film. There's a handful of moments that will make you not sleep at night. But the rest of it is this gorgeous journey of life and friendship. This movie shows when you get together with your friends, there's nothing you can't accomplish. Pennywise has a craving for the losers. He wants revenge, but it's more than that. He's missed them. so good dude so fucking good oh i'm so fucking down for this <clears throat> i can't wait i'm gonna oh dude seeing it in theaters it's gonna be fucking <sighs> like i said I, I for the most i don't go out and see movies like as just a general thing I, usually i try to drag my dad along it's just kind of what we do um the last time we went he, it was his idea to see godzilla king of the monsters in theater and it, he no joke turned to me and went I get to pick the next movie. And I went, motherfucker, you pick this movie. Because that movie was absolutely trash. Um, except, I, I mean, all the human actors. Everyone that was alive, like, really alive in that movie, the Godzilla movie, was actually the worst actor and actress. They were just bona fide trash. Not maybe them and their skill, but whoever directed them and whoever led them down that path so fucking just should not make movies. Or not be in charge of anything. Because it was, it was laughable. It was just hard to watch and I don't say that about a lot of movies I don't usually get like hey fuck these people and fuck what they're doing I thoroughly did not enjoy their acting um the monster part was great so <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can convince him he doesn't like seeing scary stuff because he just doesn't care it's not scary for him he always laughs I'm gonna see if I can just try to drag him in and get him to um something just something just kicked on somewhere so it's there's a loud noise but yeah, <clears throat> I'm. I'm gonna see if I can drag him along for this one because it's gonna be really funny. I want to see if I can get him to watch something. He saw the paranormal movies, 
and I, and he did not flinch, um, or he wouldn't let on that he did. So I'm going to see. And this is not the like they were saying. This is not the typical. This is an adventure, not just some scary movie. So <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can drag him along, and uh, it'll be fun. I, I'll see the movie regardless. I, I just have to. I love horror stuff. It's my, one of my favorite genres, if not my favorite. I, I love the lore in a horror movie. That's why I like these movies so much. The lore in a horror movie is fucking awesome. Like, I, I just want the world to be so expansive. and just, That's why I like the Halloween movies. Because they had Laurie and they had, you know, uh, just kind of a whole theme. Unlike, say, Friday the 13th, which... The whole mom thing was a, is it was what it was, but it was gives a shit. Freddy Krueger has a good story. Chucky's a comedy. Jeepers Creepers was had a good backstory to it of what that creature was. That was fucking great. Um, the exorcism of insert fucking person here. That's pretty good. The the taking of Deborah Logan was pretty eerie. Uh, Paranormal Activity has a uh, just a, a whole world around it, along with um, although it didn't it didn't. Soar, the second one, but the uh, Grave Encounters had a good element to it, at least the first one. Conjuring movies, Insidious movies, they all have the biggest, I think, lore. Although I don't feel like they do, for the most part. Like, I think Halloween has a good, robust history, although the movies aren't all connected. Uh, the Lee or Wu or whatever the guy that did the... Uh, Jason, I think his name is, the director of The Conjuring, said he pretty much wanted the Marvel movies in horror film or horror format. That's what he wanted. He wanted movies to be, they wanted his scary movies to have this huge thing where they all kind of came together. I don't know if that means that, I, I doubt The Conjuring is going to go, but I know Annabelle is a part of, uh, I think, Insidious, um, and The Nun is part of Conjuring. So we're getting these kind of things like that. So anyways, I could talk about horror stuff forever. I just love it so much. But I'm going to end it right there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you like to be like the content, you can like, subscribe, and share. I'm just completely up to you. I do appreciate it, though. It does help me out in some way or another. And I'll see what every video I'm doing next. Later, guys.